and we're off. Eleven and a half kilograms on the back. It's not that bad. As we know, this pasture hasn't been the easiest for a lot of people. I've been quite lucky, I've been very lucky. In fact, I've managed to spend a lot of time at home with the family. The trouble is, there's a lot of people out there not half as lucky as me. Losing family members, not being able to see people. Businesses that they've grown over the years and put their absolute all into it just to see it really evaporate, even disappear through no fault of their own. And it's difficult, it's very difficult to have life as we know it 12 months or so ago. That was sort of levels of independence. We can go out and do what we want and see who we want to see. That's tough because it's been taken away. A lot of people can't understand just where people are coming from. Oh, we've got Zoom, we've got phones, we can still contact people. That's not the point. The point is, we've had a lot of certainties taken away from us. And that's affected a lot of people, myself included. It has been tough. But I always have this saying, and it goes, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. But again, easier said than done. And that's why I'm doing this walk with a set of clubs on my back. So I want to raise awareness, as Rick Shields doing, brilliant job by the way, Rick, to raise awareness for the charity mind. Because we all need a bit of help. We sometimes bottle it up. We usually bottle it up, even to our close family and friends. We need to talk. We need to talk about our issues. We need to talk, talk when we're feeling happy. We need to talk when we're feeling sad. Everyone does. Hello, do you fancy nine holes? I'm gonna post a link below to Rick's Just Giving page. Please donate whatever you can. I know, again, as I say, it's a difficult time, but there's a lot of people out there who need help and they need a talk. I've had a few funny looks, Resuming yes. Workout. People saying, why have I got my clubs on my back? Or thinking, why have I got my clubs on my back? Don't blame them, really. But it's great to see. Lovely guy, Matt Behrman, just came out. Maybe his house owner of Golf's Choice in Northamptonshire. Fantastic independent golf shop. It's lovely to have a chat because Matt's had to close a lot of, for a number of weeks last year and obviously now this year as well. Lovely to chat with him. Absolutely fantastic. And it just showed me, you know, as much as I've spent t loving time with my family and my kids, it's been absolutely fantastic. Something I'll never forget, but we all need that time to see other people. We all need that time to talk to other people. Go and talk to people, even if you haven't spoken to them in a year, two years. Send them a text, ping them a message, ping them an email. Just let them know you're there. Let them know you care. And please donate what you can to the Mind Charity. Fantastic cause and very much needed. Not, not just at this time in our lives, but throughout our lives. Now, where would I be? on an eight mile walk, the clubs on my back, without this. Homemade flapjack from the good lady. Oh. And we're done. Eight miles, 36 holes, with the golf bag on my back. It's been brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It's been, been a little bit tough. Quite difficult with a bag on your back, but yeah, great fun. Absolutely great fun. Mind cleared, podcast on. Just a brilliant way of just clearing that mind.